Welcome to Fictionary. I'm your host, Deetra, and it's about to get lit, as in literary, up in here. Okay. (laughs) I realized that was super corny, but whatever. Sometimes I can't help myself, and, you know, you can just feel free to erase that last 10 seconds from your mind. Um, If this is your first time joining me, Fictionary is a moment in time that allows you to sit back relax and sip on some coffee or tea, whatever you please, and escape into a world of fiction. Today, I will be bringing you three new stories from the 100 Words for 100 Days Challenge I'm hosting on the Facebook group Writer's World. You can check us out and join the challenge if you are a writer or maybe you want to try something a little bit different. Um, It's a fun place to go if you like to read or if you like to write, so join us. Anyway, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has taken the time to listen and subscribe to Fictionary. I'm up on most of the streaming uh, platforms, so you can listen on Apple Podcasts, you can listen on Spotify, Buzzsprout, uh, Pandora, Um, Fictionary is there. So take a listen, guys. Um, And for those of you that have I really appreciate all of the support and the encouragement. Uh, I wanted to start a podcast for a long time, and I feel like I have finally found my groove here with Fictionary. I'm able to combine my favorite things, which are writing, storytelling, and production all into one place. Anyway, it's still a work in progress, but I look forward to bringing to life some of the ideas in my head for all of you. Um, One of them is actually going to become reality next week. I'll be hosting Fictionary's first ever author interview, and I'm really excited about this, and I think that we're all going to get a lot out of it. I'll be speaking with YA and children's author Shante Oliver, and let me just let you know, she is going to be dropping some nuggets. So if you're a writer, you want to make sure you have your notepad, your pen or pencil, your laptop, whatever it is available so you can take some notes because she's going to be giving some information and some tips that she used herself when working to complete her novels. Um She is now three in with a children's book as well. So, I mean, I think she has a voice that is worth listening to. So hopefully you guys will too. Anyway, I want to go ahead and get right into our stories for today. Again, it's going to be three original stories by me. I will tell you uh, the genre, the word or character, and then the action that have to be in the story. And again, they have to be 100 words or less. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy. Our first story for today is Homecoming. The genre is post-apocalyptic. The character is writer. And the action is summoning someone. The ashes of my former reality paint the world reborn. I watch as relics of my existence disappear beneath the shades of gray my typewriter, the proof of my last novel, a kitschy mug cracked like this world beyond repair. I am undone. I am alone. I open my mouth and the scream that echoes in my soul escapes my lips in a dry whisper. Mateo, my plea drifts into the endless destruction lost. I lie down in the ravaged cradle of my life and close my eyes, longing for him, longing to join him, longing for death. Soraya! He's here. The End. All right, so we kicked off with a little post-apocalyptic action, a little sadness, but it definitely goes to show that, you know, don't give up because you never know what's coming around the corner. It might just be your love, Mateo. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started on the next story. So hopefully you guys are ready. And just a warning, this one is a little bit creepy too. 
The title is All I Do Is Work, the genre is horror, the word is nether, and the character is a movie producer. Creak. My heart quickens as the floorboards of the ancient film studio announce my location. Uh, the lifeless moaning sounds in the distance echo around me. I hold my breath, frozen in place, searching the darkness for glowing eyes. I damn my efficiency and the decision to arrive before the rest of the crew. Miss producer my ass, I ruefully think. I carefully lift one foot and take a tenuous step. Instantly, I am tackled to the ground. I stare into cold, dead eyes and scream as my soul is ripped from my body and dragged ruthlessly into the nether. The end. All right, guys, so that one was a little bit creepy, too, but our last story is going to be lighthearted and fun and also slightly embarrassing because, of course, it's fan fiction. Um, so, you know, I tend to be a fan girl sometimes, but I have never written fan fiction so much as during this competition. Uh, so get ready to enjoy some weirdness on my behalf. The title is The Star in My Eyes. The genre is fan fiction. The word is skip. And the action is achieving a goal. The winner is Leonardo DiCaprio. The preternaturally white toothed announcer simpers, looking like the cat that got all the cream. We are cheering loudly as the camera pans to our table. He stands to receive his Oscar. I am proud of him. We all worked hard on this film, but him especially. He reaches the podium and the she-cat gives him a lingering hug. He begins to speak and my heart skips as he looks directly at me. I want to thank everyone who worked on this film, but most especially you, Dietra. You are the only star in my eyes. The end. (laughs) All right, your girl is over here blushing because that was so embarrassing. I thought last week's recording was bad uh, with the singing, but you know what? These fan fictions are really starting to eat at my soul, but I promised myself I was going to uh, be bold and be brave and just share what I've written, whether I think it's slightly humiliating or not. And, you know, it's kind of fun, Uh, fun in a way that when I'm laying in bed at three o'clock at night, unable to sleep, these are the thoughts that will be going through my mind on repeat. But, you know, also fun in a way that it's good to challenge yourself, I guess. I suppose. I mean, you guys can let me know what you think. But um, that's all that I have for you today. Next week, we will have our very first author interview. Um, It will be a longer episode than usual. So, you know, if you want to listen to it all the way through, absolutely be my guest. I hope that you do. If you need to break it up a little bit, you can do that as well. I have It'll be broken up into chapters, so it's easy to uh, listen to as you would like and keep track of where you are. Um, But it is going to be an amazing interview. It's with the YA and children's author Shantae Oliver, uh, author of the Dreamweaver series, and also a member of the Writer's World Facebook group and uh, admin. So you know, join. Uh, (laughs) I hope to see you guys there and I hope to see you next week as we continue with Fictionary. Until then, you guys keep sipping that tea and most importantly, keep on reading.